Do you ever feel that when you're walking in nature, in the woodlands, or sitting down by a, a big tree, a big oak tree, that there's a connection, a grounding, and it's what your body needs to, to heal and relax? I do. Because we live in a fog of fast-paced life, confusion, fear. And it's not good for us. We should just get out in nature and relax. I'm a content creator on quite a few different YouTube channels. And I've noticed across all the channels that people's attention spans, although they're perpetually glued to the phones, swiping away, their attention span is dropping. And it's quite worrying. I, I blame it on likes of YouTube shorts, TikTok, Instagram reels. They're all sort of 60 second videos. But the average attention span on them is somewhere between 15 and 20 seconds. And yes, you can argue your content isn't engaging enough. That's some of it. But I do think there's like a a motive behind it of dumbing down people's attention span. Unable to focus on something longer than a few seconds, 20 seconds. That's what... <laughs> your life isn't about that. It's about focusing on one thing at a time. Living in the now. Not worrying about the past. Not worrying about the future. What is actually happening now. And concentrate on what... And focus on that one thing. So... I think it's a construct of dumbing down the world's population through social media and dividing us through different people's views on religion, wars, what to eat. So many conflicting views on what you should eat and what you shouldn't eat, what you should drink, what you shouldn't drink, tap water's bad for you, bottled water's bad for you because the plastic's leaching into it should drink out of a glass bottle rather than a plastic bottle. All these processed foods are bad for you, better for organic foods for you. I, I mean, it, it's endless, there's like yin and yang all the way through arguments of what you should do and what you shouldn't do and then contradictions and the whole world is upside down and I, I find just walking in nature wherever it may be try and cut out the background noises the planes going overhead seems to be a lot today but just focus on how beautiful our planet is. Our planet isn't dying. If you look, watch nature, it's flourishing, it's teeming with life. But I think these phones, the computers, focus your mind on the wrong thing instead of getting out there and finding beauty for yourself. So it's a funny little video. And I hope you like my content. And like and subscribe. See you again soon. Bye for now. I'll leave you with a short video from my little boy, Teddy. Okay, everybody. Let me show you how my Venus flytrap works. Normally it would catch its own flies, but because 
I've just got it a wood louse at the moment. So it, uh, I'll just put it in and then um, we'll, um, you'll normally flies will go in for the nectar and then it'll touch two trigger hairs which will activate the Venus flytrap. But it, you'll see that when it moves around, let's hope it can, put that in there. It closes straight away and then over about a week it will digest it and then all open again. These are my cactuses and this is an Australian carnivorous plant actually. Pretty cool, you can't really see it in that shot. You can see it a bit better in there. And then, oh, I've forgotten this name, it's in Latin, it's a really long name. This is my semolina. And that will just make the flies fall in because they get drunk by the nectar. And also, this is Pops's bladder wart. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.